Like, hmm, maybe it's connected to the nails that have the germs under them. Must be. Ugh. Yeah. Fucking gross. Yeah. I Something can't about imagine it. it now. I'm just like, ugh. I used to do it when I was a kid, too. And then one day I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. This is so And then gross. I just stopped. Yeah. But oh, it's like... I'm so glad that I never did that. Oh, never? Never. Dang. Nice. That's pretty good. Oh, my fucking god. Seriously, a piece of shit. It's not my password. That is my password, you fuck. <laughs> Are you all having trouble getting on? <laughs> no, it's on Google. It's... This doesn't work. I'm gonna oh, throw my phone. YouTube. I'm gonna throw my phone. No, I'm not gonna throw it. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm very upset. Okay, anyway. I don't know why it keeps giving me shit. I hate when it logs me out of stuff because I don't remember all my passwords because sometimes, like, there's, like, one... one... letter or number that's, like, slightly off from all the rest. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, if someone hacks me, they won't know that I have an exclamation point instead of a question mark here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, okay. Everyone's online. Alright, so we're going to... Oh wait, I'm gonna go inside the house first and check on my stocks. See how much money I made at the Final Fantasy stock market. AKA my retainers. Alright, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Yes, yes. How much money do I have? Fuck. Woo! 60,000 from her. Okay. Go go get more stuff. And then he has zero. You're worthless. Go make yourself useful. Okay. Cory Cory Mel, right? Yep. Right. Yep. Cormel. So Cormel. Okay, I am here. Scott is at the house. Yes, at the house. Oh wait, I don't think it matters if all of us are here, does it? I don't think so. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, I guess we'll see. Oh, too far away. Okay, so you have to be over here, Scott. No. Cory Mill, <laughs> Gridania. I finally got Emil's account to um, go out of Limsalomensa, so now he can go explore <laughs> the world of Final Fantasy Gridania Fanaland. Nice. And How Limsa. long did that take? Not very. I just like did all of his main quests. I was like, okay, here you go, because he, he kept wanting to run around and fight monsters. I was like, no, baby, I have to do this so you can play with us, otherwise you're going to be stuck here. <laughs> Unfortunately, you have to do the quests. One of your party members does not meet the requirements. Oh my fucking what? god. What? Dude, all of us were playing before. Why the fuck are you telling me this? Scott, come closer to us. Oh, you're here. Right there. Shut up. <laughs> Why? Why doesn't it tell us? Like, what's the requirement? Scott, did you change your class? Are you an archer still? Yeah, it doesn't fuck. Okay, so dancer, me, white mage, Kelsey, bard, Scott, dancer, Brittany. Hmm. Oh my fucking god, dude. Wait, close out of that. Hold on, let's... Oh my god. Why? Why? Uh, let's see. Google it. Maybe someone else should try? Just to see if... I don't yeah. know, it's being weird. And go for it. How do we switch the party leader? Um. 
Do you want to try it? I'll try it. Okay. Uh... Okay. okay. Let's see. Mm, nope. Okay. So that didn't work. So should we all try erasing that file? And then start from floor one? Oh my god. That would suck. That's so weird. Because, yeah, I'm looking it up online and it says, oh, you need to have this and this. I'm like, we do. I mean, I haven't played since we last played, so nothing yeah, should I mean, be different on my end. I haven't touched the... Oh, Scott wants to see if it does it without him. I highly doubt it's going to work. Oh, wait, Kelsey has to do it. Oh, I switched. I think you're the party leader now. Oh. Yeah, Kiki is party leader now. <laughs> nope. What? What? Still won't let us go in there. Okay, what the fuck is going on in here? I'm just like, I don't want to, like, have us erase our file and then have it still not work. Be mad. Yeah, that would suck. Let me try talking to him again. Okay. Enter the Palace of the Dead. I really wish it would just fucking tell us, like, why it you won't know. work. Okay, let me make sure I'm a dancer. Okay, yeah, I'm a fucking dancer. Oh my god. Everyone's who we should be. doesn't make any sense. What? Wait, so Scott right now is an archer and not a bard. Uh, was he a bard when we did it? It says on the Palace of the Dead that bard. he was a bard. Yeah. Alright, so have him switch back to bard rather than archer. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, shit. How the fuck do I... Meow? So that working. should be one of the class stones. So you gotta I don't go know why this... he's an archer. You gotta go to the stone. Oh, maybe when he put, like, new... When he put on new gear, maybe? Maybe. So yeah, so it's under the character, and then it's the very last slot, the soul crystal. Do you have the bard stone, Scott? Hmm. So he has it now. I'm gonna fucking kill oh. you. Hello. <laughs> I asked you, and you said I yes. I don't know these things. I don't play this out. Alright, whatever. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this time it was Scott's fault. Last time it was Brittany not having an extra save. <laughs> This time it's Scott, next time it's gonna be me or Kelsey. Mm-hmm. How it works. Or it'll just switch between me and Scott. God. <laughs> well, we only wasted 14 minutes. All good. We're doing good. Okay. Yeah. That's a gross ass waterfall. Mm -hmm. You don't want to drink that? That's a no. cane of return. That music, though. Pretty intense. God, I was doing that boss battle for that, for that, like, princess or whatever the fuck, where she, like, has, like, the moon the dark and light side of the moon or whatever? Uh-huh. Yeah. Tsukiyomi? 
Yeah, that one. Oh my god. I kept fucking dying and then I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna not. <laughs> but it took us like... Like the whole party died like four times before oh they managed to kill it. And then some people were being like super passive aggressive like, Oh, I have to jump off now. I didn't know it was gonna take this long. And I was like, damn, chill oh, out. That. Calm the fuck down. It's a fucking video game. Yeah, I hate it when people get super butt hurt. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, Jesus. There was one other time I was in a party and it was for, uh, what the fuck? The big snake man, Leviathan? Yeah, Leviathan. Yeah. And this girl was being like super bitchy to everyone. She's like, okay, well, since no one here knows what they're doing, you have to do this. And she like kept telling everyone how they sucked or they're useless. And I was like, you're being a bitch, so I'm going to leave. And I left and I hope that made an impact on her. Probably didn't. <laughs> We're good for you. <laughs> you don't need to put up with that shit. Yeah, I was just like, I was like, you're being really rude and aggressive. I'm going to leave the party because of you. It's like, I'm going to make sure you know it's your fault. <laughs> Bitch. I got a penalty for leaving early, but I was like, worth it. <laughs> oh, totally <Yeah>. worth it. <laughs> worth it. <laughs> no fucks given. <laughs> Where's that horde? Now I know to look for the shiny thing on the floor. Yes. Uh, oh, I see it. Oh wait, no, that's that's the return or that's Oh, I see it. Ah! Freaking pooks. Gosh darn. Look at us. Kicking ass and taking treasure. Don't look at me, Scott. Don't <laughs> look at me. Stop! Anytime he looks at me, I'm like, why are you looking at me? I get all <laughs> self-conscious, I'm like, oh god, what's on my face? And Scott's like, your face. <laughs> Your face is on your face. Ah! Oh, fuck. Ah! Treasure coffer. Ah! Son of a bitch. So hard to tell where to go. Oh, cool! I can't do anything. Hey, a trap! Don't step in it. <laughs> Fuck you, dragon thing. Hey, we leveled up. I'm starting to get a migraine today too. I hope it like doesn't incapacitate me before I'm done having fun with my friends. God. Right. Do you know what triggered it? Uh probably people being stupid. Oh, love that. Yeah, no, like legit, if I if I witness somebody being very, very stupid, then I get a headache. 
Really? And it usually turns really bad. So, like, when I would God. be at work and I was dealing with stupid customers, like, I would get such a bad migraine. Oh, no. That so, sounds terrible. So I'm like, what stupid people have I witnessed today? I'm not sure who. But, yeah, no, I get a headache because of that. Or I get a headache. Blah, blah, blah. I get a headache if I can't find something, so like if I misplace my phone and I can't find it, I get a migraine. Mm. And overheated, and then I get angry. Damn, that would happen to me all the time. It's probably from stress. Yeah. I'm always stressed. No matter what. I feel that. Yep. Everyone's like, don't be stressed, I'm like, how? I can tell myself that all I want, but my brain is going to be like, you know what, we're going to hurt you today. <laughs> it's like literally impossible not to be stressed. It's like when people say, don't be anxious or don't be sad. It's like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> how is that possible? <laughs> just, just don't. Just, just tell, That's tell your movie. brain no. I'm like, it even if I, like that. even if I tell my brain no, my brain don't give a fuck. Yeah, if I tell my brain no, it's like, oh, you want to be sadder? Okay. It's like, cool, cool story, bro. Oh, we got the treasure. Somewhere. Yeah, it's somewhere. <laughs> now that we're almost done with the floor. I was like, damn, we're leveling up really fast. And I was like, oh, wait, we're on level 20 or floor 22 or something. 23. Oh, shit. Look at us. Oh, Helena. I think, we're going, I think we're gonna have to go back and find the Accursed Horde. Son of a bitch. Oh, speaking nope, of stuff... Speaking of stuff you can't control, that was like when I was working and I like I get sick all the time and my manager was just like, well, can you do something so you don't get sick as often? I'm like, I would love to. I do not have fun being sick constantly. Yeah, that's such a dumb question. Like, <laughs> like can you take some vitamins? I'm like, if that, if, if that was, you know, the issue, <laughs> then it wouldn't be going on for this long. Like, right. Oh, like, Jesus fucking Christ. Wow. Just don't be sick. Okay, let me tell my body that. Hey, stop that. <laughs> it's mind over matter, Kiki. Yeah, you can overcome it with willpower. Just just will willpower the COVID away. That's how it works. Willpower and weapons. That's all it takes, right? Kiki, you just gotta pray. Just pray. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I forgot about that too. <laughs> if you pray, well, what if I still stay sick? Then God has a plan. What if I die from this? Well, God has a plan. God wants to bring you home. Then that's as God intended. Yeah, no, I had an aunt who was like that. And I, she, like, I was potentially going to work at a place overnight, but I'd have to walk back, like, in the middle of the night. And I was like, I was like, and she was like, oh no, you should do it. I was like, well, if someone, well, if someone like attacks me while I'm out walking, I, she was like, well, God has a plan for everyone. I was like, even if I get kidnapped what? and raped. And she was like, well, God, God has a plan. And I, it's the same wow. one who was screaming at the invisible serpents and stamping on the floor. Oh, that one. Geez. I remember. So uh, I just found out that before my grandma died, she actually thought that I was possessed by a demon because I didn't believe in God. Shit, heretic. Burn her. Yeah, my uh ex's mom thought I was a witch. Cause of Salem. Oh, and yeah, cause of Salem and because I was <laughs> evil. <laughs> she hated me. I know my my frickin' aunt I I was talking to Danny at the time actually and I told Danny and she didn't believe me so I called her on the phone and put it face down and she could oh. hear my aunt screaming and she was like dude what the fuck I thought you were kidding I was like no oh this bitch God. is insane no I'm finding out that a lot of people are that level of insanity yeah 
I'm like, holy shit. More common than you think, unfortunately. <laughs> it's the devil's work. Everything. <laughs> Anything that you like is because of the devil. Yep. You like cats? The devil's possessing you. You like dogs? <laughs> Satan is in your head. It's everything. Because if you it's like true. it, then it's a sin, basically. You can't If you enjoy it. life, it's because of the devil. Yep. If you can find happiness outside of the church, then that's the devil tempting you. <laughs> that means that you are evil. If you have a black cat named Salem, that You're definitely <laughs> evil. <laughs> You'd be burned at the stake. It's true. God. Fucking burn me. <laughs> I uh I have a pair of devil earrings that oh God. I wear sometimes. Oh god. And occasionally I'm like, I forget I'm wearing them. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. I wonder what people think of this right now. <laughs> I haven't had anyone approach me about it yet, but I'm just waiting. Like, maybe, please. Maybe they're too scared of you because they're scared that you work with the devil or you're a cast of spell. Oh, yeah. Them. That's perfect then. If, they, if it keeps people away from me, alright. I'll keep wearing them. <laughs> and then if they hold up a Bible to you, just start hissing. Yeah. Speaking in tongues. It burns! <laughs> <laughs> but speaking in tongues is a godly thing, remember? That's true. That's true. Shit. My, uh, my ex's mom would do that when she prayed. She's Speak like, speaking in tongues. tongues. Yeah. Kind of freaky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should have what you should have done is copied everything that she said just to see how she would react. Oh god, she'd probably think I was like casting a spell on her. <laughs> like you're saying the exact same thing that she's saying, but she's like, oh <laughs> the witch. <laughs> she's trying to Burn kill me. <laughs> oh god. Oh fuck you, mimic. Piece of shit. Asshole. Bitch. <laughs> How the fuck did we start talking about this? Oh. Fuck, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I don't know. Oh well. Uh oh. Trap. Oh no! You're a frog! Ah! Ow. Why? Why are you coming for me? Fuck you. Bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch. No. I can't get up there. There we go. Are you a frog? No. Oh. Dang, we're finding a bunch today. Yeah. We have oh, to hunt it down. Oh, I see it. Nice. Fortunately, there were only three rooms to this floor. Yeah. I went the wrong way. Uh oh, I'm lost. Wait, no, I think I know how to get back. Ah! Oh! He's come back to finding you guys getting reamed. Yeah, he kind of just appeared in front of us and started attacking us. Rip. Rita! Rita with her little toes. I tickle her feet. Take her beam. Scott scared her. She did not appreciate that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, Kiki, I just remembered that since we're starting over from the beginning, uh, we're gonna have to go through that area with the T-Rexes again. Oh, Sorry. you know what really sucks? My fucking Dr. Pepper cans have a fucking T-Rex on them. Okay. I'm not even safe in my own house. I was just like, really? Luckily it's not on the side that needs to be facing me, but I'm just like, I'm not safe anywhere, man. You in need, like, some fan cozies. They're, they're, they're in my house, they're in my dreams, like, fuck. You can't escape them. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm like, okay, they're they're in the movie theaters, they're in the stores as toys, I'll just stay at home, and then I drink yeah. a fucking Dr. Pepper, and I'm like, okay, they can't get me in my dreams, and my brain's just like, jokes on you, bitch. <laughs> God. I don't think I've had any T-Rex dreams for a while, though. Hopefully. I don't- uh, maybe I had them, but I'm just suppressing the memory. It's too terrifying for you at this point. Like, luckily there's a lot of times where I'm aware I'm in a dream and I'm just like, okay, close your dream eyes and don't look. Or I do a thing where I, like, pull up a pause screen, like a pause menu in a game, and then I'm like, okay, restart dream. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so it's yeah. kind of like lucid dreaming? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I tend to lucid dream a lot, like, whoa, 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 let's back this up and what if this happened instead? Probably because we play too many video games. <laughs> Probably. Because it's legitimately like a fucking main menu screen mm -hmm. or pause screen in a video game. And I was I was thinking about I was like, why do I do this when I was probably all the fucking games I play? Makes sense. Brain's it's kind like, of this is basically the same as a game. My brother-in-law was for a while. He was trying to train himself into lucid dreaming. Huh. And it's like, bitch, I do that all the time, and it's not <laughs> as cool as you think it is. Mm -hmm. The only thing it's good for is if you're having nightmares about T-Rexes. Oh shit, you're about to die. Yep. Damn. But there's also times where I have dreams that, like, I see my grandpa or, like, one of my late cats and I'm aware I'm dreaming so I'm like okay I want to take this time to spend time with them before I wake up again. Aww. That's nice. Yeah like having those dreams kind of like I wake up sad but yeah, I'm aware in the dream like okay I only have a limited amount of time better make it count. Mm -hmm. huh, yeah it God. just makes me super sad when I'm spending time with a dead cat in my dreams. Yeah. God. Yeah, I've had a few of like Carol and I'm just like my baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nonka really hit me hard. Mm. Still hits me hard. Man, she was such a bitch. I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> she hated everyone that wasn't Britney, and she was like such a cute baby, like 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 Britney got her as a tiny kitten and she was so cute and then she just fucking hated everyone except for Britney. What? Hate everyone. She just <laughs> hated you because you messed with her. <laughs> I don't remember what I did to her, but I probably uh, like roll her around or something. I don't remember. <laughs> probably. Like I, I honestly messed with her just as much, if not more, and yet she still loved me somehow. With me, she's like, bitch, get away from me, I don't want to see your face. But yeah, uh, the very first day that I had her, um, like when my sister dropped her off, then my mom came home from work and I held her up in my, like in the palms of my hands into her face and the kitten spat in my mom's face. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I've never had a cat spit on me before. That's so funny. And, <laughs> and my mom's just like, okay, that can be your cat. That's funny. <laughs> because uh, she obviously doesn't like me. Mm -hmm. Oh god, did I tell you guys about fucking Estelle? 
the cat that we rehomed because she kept pissing on stuff, she fucking... Yeah. I was the only one that loved her in this house, and she loved Scott. She would lay on Scott, and Scott was like, get off me, I hate you. And she would what? like... What? Yeah, she would oh, curl God. up on his chest and sleep. And I would like... I would pick her up, and she'd walk back to him, he'd pick her up, put her on me, she'd go back to him, and I was like, I'm the only one that loves you here, and you don't even Bruh. like me. I'd be so pissed. And you know, Scott was like, I hate you, get off of me, and she's like all purring and shit, and I was like, dude, what the fuck? What a bitch. <laughs> this is bullshit. Oh god, what it is, is happening? Ah! Jesus. Yeah, we're, we're kind we're of getting, getting mobbed here. Oh, well. That's not good. Oh, shit, I keep getting fucking paralyzed. I do too. Oh my god. Fuck. Holy okay. shit, okay, I need to use this one. Fuck. Ah! What the fuck is- okay, hold on. Oh, right. Why are there so many enemies? I have How no fucking happening? idea. Jesus ah. Christ on the stick. Good thing we have four people! Right. Yeah! <laughs> We've had a lot of close calls before. Can you do Palace of the Dead alone? You can, yeah. but it's really hard. Hey! That sounds terrible. My armor went up to 43. Nice. What's so the highest I do... you can get up to, Brittany? So I do floors 1 through 10 all the time. I've managed, uh up to 20, but I also died at the boss fight. But it's mm. been a while since I last did it alone. And plus with our save files kind of filled up right now, I ha I would have to erase one in order to do it. Yeah. It sucks you can only have two save files. I know. Oh, no. Like what? They should have one that's separate, like just for solo yeah. battling or whatever. Don't mind me. I'm just a frog. See, she's a witch. <laughs> she pretends to be a frog. Figured it out. <laughs> Are we at the boss yet? Uh, no. Soon. Soon. One more. Ooh, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Can I jump on them? Yes. Nice. Whoa. Oh. Eh. Damn it. Whatever. Oh shit. Going down. But this time I'm also playing on my computer screen. Last time I was playing on the big widescreen TV, so if nothing else, I can just sit really far away from the screen and not look at it. For the T Rex Asauruses. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I'm fucking paralyzed. Oh no, I'm asleep. I'm, I'm Wake asleep up, too. bitch! <laughs> We're all asleep. Okay, there we oh. go. I don't remember the owls. Me either. Did we see them last time? Probably. Unless there is an update. I don't know. No, I remember the owls. I just don't remember them actually managing to put us to sleep so much. Hmm. That too. Or at all. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember these cube things either to be fair we went like really high up so we've seen a lot of we've seen a lot of shit man that's true <laughs> we have yeah eat shit bitch ah! i'm a toad no Hopefully we won't get killed. Oh, I'm a frog now, too. Oh my god. Why are we all frogs? Where do we go? In here? Wait for me! <laughs> no, not in here. Scott. So, there were two separate toad traps. That's lame. Because I was far away from you guys. Yeah, oh, shit, man. they were. Oh, fuck me! Are you serious? 
That fucking toad again! <laughs> Can I jump on the enemy? Yes. Have you guys seen that new Taco Bell item? With the Cheez-It? No. Oh. I, I think of it. Huh? I saw a picture of it, I think. Yeah, it's like a... Oh, what is it called? It's I like forget. a Mexican pizza, but with like a giant Cheez-It bread thing. Yeah, and then there's another one where it's like a... I don't know, Taco Bell's half burrito thing. I don't know what it's called, but it has like a Cheez-It, a giant Cheez-It in the middle of it. Interesting. I think it's only available in California, so, uh, geeky. Pick it up and <laughs> mail it to you. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. I, I don't know. Pizza Hut also doing a cheese it thing. Are they? Why? Well, not, not now, but they did a quite a while back, like a year or two ago. That's so really? weird. Why cheese it? Yeah. It was like a cheddar bread stuffed with cheese. Oh. Ugh, too cheesy. I kind of hate Pizza Hut. Scott likes Pizza Hut. I've had I some like bad pizza. experiences. Did I tell you about the fucking Domino's pizza here? No. Every time I order a New York style cheese pizza, they always put fucking jalapenos or green peppers in it. Every what? fucking like, and it's not like it's under the cheese where you can't see it on like three Wait. slices. What? Yeah, like they hide it or something, and like, like, Dude. like we tried it like a few times, then we waited a few months to try again, and they did. I'm like. I think they're just doing it to fuck with us, but I'm like, what do we do when we order? Say, oh, we want a cheese pizza, but no green peppers, they're gonna think we're idiots or something, so we just don't go there anymore. Why would they do that if you don't, like, specifically order that? I have no fucking idea. That's... Like, it ruins okay. my appetite when I bite into my cheese pizza and I smell or taste a fucking green pepper. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like bell peppers at all. Yeah, anytime I, just, I get I'm... it, it just ruins the whole pizza for me. I really don't like it when pizza places put the toppings under the cheese, too. Like, I don't know, yeah. that bothers me. That's why I'm like, are they just fucking with us or something? Because they don't put it where you can see it. Like, it seems like they're just- and it's not the whole pizza either, it's only like certain parts of oh. it. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, no, That's it's- even weirder. It's not the whole pizza, it's only like a few slices, it's not- That's like a surprise. Yeah. Like, it's- <laughs> like... it, it's up by the crust usually on like three slices and it's not like a bunch but it's it's like oh. a sprinkle but i'm just like how oh. the fuck do i order this then without sounding like an idiot yeah i want um really cheese weird. pizza but can you make sure there's no um green peppers on it and they're gonna be like what <laughs> that is really weird I I've never experienced that. I left a Yelp review about it so that way <laughs> they can be aware because I was like, okay. I do not know how else to tell them. Mm hmm. These fucking people. I just want my Brooklyn style cheese pizza, man. Too bad. They're like, oh, you wanted green peppers? Like, no, I just want cheese. So, green peppers, right? Oh, just cheese. I wonder if it's like somehow an accident. Like, I, I don't would. Know. We we would think that, but it's been so often over the course of like, like we waited three months to order another pizza. What the heck? And it happened again. Cause I was like, okay, it's been like three months. Let's try it. And they had the fucking peppers, and I was like, are you kidding me? Because I was like, oh, were they making another pizza at the same time? But it kept yeah. happening. And then, okay, let's wait. And we went back and it was, I was like, dude, mm. what the fuck? That's really weird. Yeah. It's like, oh my god, I just want my pizza. <laughs> I just want my pizza. I don't want green peppers on it. I don't like green peppers. <laughs> Too much to ask. Apparently. Or it's like when they when we got the crazy bread from like uh, Little Caesars, they didn't bake it or something, and like oh. the bread was just really really bad, and so Scott's never gone back. 
because they gave him like well but they gave they gave us a shitty pizza number one and then number two they didn't like bake the breadsticks or something that's disgusting yeah so scott yeah. was like scott was like nope <laughs> i'm done fuck this place i've only had little caesars once and i was like eh. what scott papa john's what about papa john's well, they don't have Papa John's here anymore. Oh. In La Quinta, you're gonna drive all the way there? Just for Papa John's? I don't think I've ever had Papa John's. It's okay. It... I feel like when I had it, it had too much sauce or something. Mm. And they would always put a jalapeno pepper on top of their pizzas every fucking time. Like, just sitting on top of the pizza. Like a full pepper? Yes. What? Uh... Pepperoncini. It was a pepper and it was green and it didn't belong on my cheese pizza. <laughs> yeah, with me, they always put it on the side. Yeah, no, they would put it on top here and I was like, I don't want this shit. What the fuck? That's kind of weird. Oh, and then there's this, there's this other place I'd go get a hot dog at and like they would put, they would put a pickle on a cute, on a toothpick in the bread like on top as like a garnishing and i was like i don't want the pickle on my bread it makes it taste bad <laughs> i would like i would like tear that little piece off because i hated it i was like i feel like did it get kind of mushy too yeah yeah I was like, what you the don't fuck? Like pickles anyway i know that's why i was upset i was like i don't want this shit on my hot dog on the bread where it soaks in like Jesus Christ. Wait, you know what the best pizza and best hot dogs is from? Costco. Where? Yeah, Costco. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. I don't like their pizza. I, I do like pizza. their hot dogs, not their pizza. Their hot dogs are the best. But they are. Yeah, they're pretty I enjoy good. The pizza. the pizza is good if you get it fresh. Yeah. But sometimes there's too much sauce on it again. I have a thing about too much <laughs> sauce. But we know. also we also have a really good uh, hot dog place called Bangers and Brews. Bangers and Brews. <laughs> and it's just like sausages. Mm. That, huh. That's their, the thing that they do is like you can get bangers and mash or you can get a hot dog with whatever you want on it. Huh. Oh. Like they have like a whole menu of different sausages. Do you guys remember when Costco used to have Polish sausages with yes. the hot dogs? They were so good. Mm -hmm. You guys remember when they had sauerkraut for their hot dogs? Yes. Oh, so good. I do not remember that, probably because I never wanted it. It's <laughs> disgusting. Oh wait, no, actually now I do remember now that I think about it. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, yeah, I like, I, I kind of don't even want a Costco hot dog anymore if I can't have sauerkraut on it. Oh, I don't like it. It's gross. You can, you can I have... love sauerkraut. I do too. Too bitter for me. I have a new obsession with uh, hot sauce on hot dogs. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> so, what's your favorite hot sauce? Ooh, I really like Cholula. Okay. I'm a fan. Um, uh, I was raised on Louisiana hot sauce. I don't know if I ever had that. It I'll is. Have to try it. Yeah, it's a very vinegary Ooh. hot sauce. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that. I'll have to try that. Yeah. Hell, you can even find it at the Dollar Tree. Ooh. Damn. Nice. I love a good hot sauce. I, I just put hot sauce on everything, so. <laughs> It's kind of a problem. Uh, like, hot sauce on pizza. That's another really good combo. Oh, I haven't had tried that oh, yet. Oh, fuck, I'm about to die. Ah! Oh, no. No, stop targeting me. Leave me alone. Why? Why are you doing to save this? You. Fuck off, oh. bro. There Dick we go. Bitch. Um, well, as long as our healer doesn't die, then we're good. That's true. <laughs> like last time. Oh, everyone else oh, can die. <laughs> All right. It's time to get out of here. Have we ever had a 
Frank's red hot hot sauce. Yep, I do love some Frank's. I feel like I've Put had that. I know I've seen it a lot. Put that on pizza. It's excellent. So are we talking about the plain hot sauce or the uh, buffalo sauce? Oh, the buffalo for sure. Okay. Yeah. That one's really yeah. good. Yeah, the, the buffalo is so good. Mm -hmm. And actually, the Louisiana reminds me a lot of the regular Frank's hot sauce. Oh, okay. But, but like, better. Ooh. And cheaper. Okay. Yeah, and cheaper. I like that. <laughs> Especially right now, I'm like, I need to save as much money as possible. For hot sauce? For hot sauce. And good. pickles. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Gotta yeah. find you some Costco Polish sausage and put all of it on there. But now well, it's gotta Costco, be vegan. <laughs> Costco still sells their Polish sausage and the packages. Oh. I didn't know that. Oh, fuck. Like, you go to their refrigerators and you can still buy, like, a big pack of their Polish sausage. So, like, what oh. if you what if you buy a packet and then you go up to the food court and you're like, <laughs> can you make me one of these? Dude. Yes. I wonder if they would say yes or no, because it's Costco brand, and they used I, to have it. Yeah. <laughs> if I worked there, I'd be like, hell yeah, I'm doing this too. Well, I mean, they. I'm pretty sure that they just boil their dogs, so it, it would be really easy to just make it at home. But it's not the same thing. It, it, it always <laughs> tastes better if someone else has their blood, sweat, and tears put into making it. True. Right. Where the fuck is the next door? I don't know how to leave the room, I'm scared. Oh wait. Okay, I figured it out. No! What happened? Oh, another Mimic. Mimic. Fuck you, Mimic! Fuck to you again. Little bitches, man. Yeah. Damn it, now I really want a Costco dog. Damn. <laughs> uh oh. And it's so hard to get into Costco here. Oh, really? Okay. Is oh, it because it's... it's like, because there's like too many people, there's not no... enough workers? Yep. Gone. Too many people, not enough workers, not enough parking spaces. Oh Jesus. my god. Over here, they have, like, like, I'm trying to think of, like, how to say how big, but they, they have a ridiculous amount of parking here, like, it's, it could be much? its own store. It's, like, two Costco's. Like, it's ridiculously huge, but it's also in the middle of, like, a little shopping center with, like, a buffet and then a uh, auto parts store or whatever, so I guess that's why. But yeah, so it's like, you can find a place, it's just, you might need to walk a bit. It's still a massive parking lot, but there's just so many people that go there. Like, like the only Costco in your town? Yeah. Yeah. It's Oregon. And there was, it was the same in Eugene to where there was only one Costco. <laughs> We're all jumping now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a Costco membership. Kind of sad. Me and my parents share one. Me and Scott I need a... share one, but I don't leave the house, so he just uses it. Nice. I need to find someone with one and then bomb it off of them. It's because I don't like leaving the house, because I get sick easily, and it's too fucking hot. I don't. If it's cool outside, I'll go out, but if it's hot... It's like 106 degrees, I'm not going outside. Fuck, it's like maybe 80 degrees here. Yeah, that's how that's how cool our house is on the AC right now. Mm -hmm. I like keeping it 77, but it costs money, so I can't. Because Scott will skin me alive. <laughs> So that's probably why you'll want to spend as much time with me as possible because, like, 
even though the whole house is like really well air conditioned, my room for some reason is not. So we pulled in my old air conditioner from my apartment. So I have my what? own AC in here. That's <laughs> that's funny. That works. And I have full control over it. Nice. Wow, that and also, I don't pay electric. Oh man, the dream. Dude, my electricity bill is so high right now. Like, ours is pretty high too. I hate it. It's only gonna get worse. Does your thing, does your company do a thing where they give you like a credit for summer heating or whatever the hell? Or cooling? No. Oh yeah. What's that? Here they do it where they like, they look at your electric bill compared to your other electric bills and they give you like a credit back because you can't live without the AC. Oh, oh wow. Interesting. I have never heard of that. Really? You've only had it one time, Scott? I've had it multiple times wherever I lived. That's weird. Well, it's a thing for me. I guess they they just don't like you. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well, something is targeting us. Oh. Oh, there it is. Targeting Scott. Here we go. Up we go. God, I'm, s I'm sweating sitting on the couch right now. Bullshit. I was sweating like crazy earlier when I went to the grocery store. I was like, ugh. I'll go home. Open the door, it's like a fucking oven. Mm-hmm. Commander of Fortune. I am so happy I don't live in the desert with you guys. <laughs> Soon I will be Soon. out of here. And I we can't can actually wait. leave the house and we can go we can go explore more caves and get lost and then have a movie made about us. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys watched? Isn't it called The Descent or something like that? Yeah, where she goes in the. They go in the caves and there's like the mutant moleman. Well, not yeah. moleman, but. Yeah. I was like, I was like, if I ever have to like crawl for a prolonged amount of time and I cannot see the other side, I am not getting down on my belly. <laughs> like, if I can see what's yeah. in front of me and it's like a small crawl, then maybe. But those people who are like, oh, if I keep crawling down here for a mile, then I should be able to find the spot where I can go through. I'm like, no, I'm good. Did you hear about the... Nutty Putty? Is it the, the Nutty Putty? Yep. Ugh, that freaks me out. I have a feeling so we bad. talked about this when we were playing Palace of the Dead before. Oh, yeah. This feels very familiar. Did. Well, because then we talked about that uh, creepypasta, too. Oh, that's right, Ted the Caver. Yeah. <laughs> Everything repeats. <laughs> History repeats itself. That's what happens when you have a bad memory. And ADHD, because we forget. True. True, true. That's what happens when three of the same type of person are talking. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I can pull movie... movie from Helmets, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, Helmets? For yes. when you go caving? I, I, I hope cool. I too much. I got some. I got some nice boots now. So, oh Kelsey, nice. what yeah. what movie were you talking about? Or... Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the one where they go into the Paris catacombs. Oh, um, as above, as yeah. as, as above, so as below, above, or... so below. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Something like that. Have you seen it? Yeah, that one freaked me out. I was like, damn. Uh, I was Pretty like, good. shit, I want to go there. It looks cool as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should definitely watch those before you go into the caves. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like a learning experience. Okay, don't do this. Oh, what the fuck? Did you guys hear that? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The zombie thing was like... <laughs> mm -hmm. Beautiful. Just like that. But yeah, I hit my head too often for comfort in the caves. Rip. Would you just like on a rock? 
Yep. It's, it's well, a small on the cave. Big ceiling. Oh, so the ceiling was pretty small or short? Some of them were oh, kind of low. Hmm. What, Scott? Is tall. Oh, Brittany's just tall. Mm -hmm. That's true. Brittany well, is I, tall. I am. But. <laughs> but I'm also not obscenely tall. <laughs> How tall are you? Uh, six like foot five, two. Seven? No, six foot two. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's pretty pretty tall compared to. Heard to me. They're like five foot four or something. Are you five foot four or something, Kelsey? I can't remember. Yeah, I'm five four. Haha. -ha. So you're five four, yeah. Scott's five five, I'm five six, Brittany's five eight. So seven. Mean five six, seven. Oh okay, there we go. So so we we're all we can all stand next to each other and it'll be an even amount of heads. Nice. <laughs> Wait, I'm the shortest? Yep. God damn it. Well, actually, technically, Emil's the shortest, so... Oh, true. Good point. <laughs> that makes me feel better. <laughs> Someday he's gonna be taller than Scott. He's looking madly at me like, fuck you. <laughs> he's gonna be a tall boy. Dude, I can't even imagine how tall my nephew's gonna be. Seven foot... Ooh. Probably pretty close, because his dad is, I think, almost to seven feet. Jesus. Dang. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, my brother is fucking tall. Like he towers over me. God damn. Yeah. How tall is his girlfriend or wife or does he have? I forgot. Is that the one who like? Has the ex, or...? So, he is not with the mother. Okay. And How tall is she? Uh... I think about my... A little shorter than me. Damn. But I can't really recall because that was... Very many years ago that I last saw her. That's true. And then his, uh... Wife is super short. Mm -hmm. That's funny. And I guess she's working on actually getting like a green card now. Where'd she come from? Uh, Mexico. Oh, okay. That's what my dad's wife did. She had to like sneak over the border illegally and then she like immediately started going to school for English and like. Did all her stuff to become a citizen. She just had to sneak over illegally. Uh huh. You know, sometimes it's easier to ask for forgiveness than for permission. Well, especially if, like, as soon as they get over here, they're, like, trying to become a legal citizen. Then it's like, okay, but if, like, they put it off because they're like, oh, I don't want to, then I'm kind of like, I don't feel bad for if you get arrested. Yeah. Cause she came over here and then as soon as they could my dad brought her daughters over he was like all right let's get y'all situated no issues here officer mm -hmm. except when my when my stepmom went back to get her daughters as soon as they landed in mexico she was arrested and thrown in mexican women's prison oh my god for abandoning Damn. her country or something wow yep and my dad didn't get to see her for a year <gasps> Oh my god. I've never heard about this. It was... That's fucked up. It was... Well, he married her right after I graduated. I was living with him... I think it was like 2011, 2012. But yeah. So he, he was all stressed out and he had to like write letters to the courts and stuff. And he had me and my sister like write letters like telling about my stepmom's... Uh, character to show that she's not a terrible person who should be allowed back here and out of prison. <laughs> so she was in prison for a year? Yep. Oh my god. Yep. That's horrible. She she tries to become legal, she tries to do the right thing, and she gets thrown in prison. Wow. 
My and dad Mexico, was like, no less. Yeah. Yep. My dad was like, fuck, I should have just, I should have just done it the illegal way. Mm. Just, just snuck her daughters over instead of trying to go back and bring them over legally. Seriously. That was ridiculous. Can't even imagine. Alright. Oh damn, we're already at almost to floor 40. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Fuck you, Kiki, landmine. We have, have closed position now. Ooh. Let me close so, position. So make, it, so make Scott your dance partner. Where the fuck is he? There he is. Okay, there we go. Whenever you play with a random party in a dungeon, ha like, who do you choose to be your partner? Um, well, you want to normally go for one of the DPS. Okay. Like, I, I of course, that you want to try and go with the strongest of the DPS, but I don't always know who that is, so... It's kind of a random between two people. Because every time I join, I'm like super anxious, like, oh my god, what if I choose someone to be my, my close position partner and they're just like, why are you doing that or something? <laughs> oh, you guys know what the worst type of anxiety is in this game? Mm. When you go into someone's house in the, in the neighborhoods and the owner is there. <laughs> That's a bit awkward. Yeah, I don't know why either. Like, any time- like, I'll check and see, okay, is the owner here? And then if they are, I'm like, nope, not going in. I don't know. It just feels like I'm, like, breaching their, their like, privacy or something. <laughs> oh my god, so we accidentally discovered a an accursed horde, and no one opened it. I, I went back and got it. But I'm like, wait, those are found. That That's... means we just activated an accursed horde. That's funny. It's too hard to see with all these dead bodies piling up. <laughs> God, I was reading a Reddit thread about like all the embarrassing moments people have had in Final Fantasy and most of them have to do with going into someone's house while the owner is there and then getting embarrassed and leaving. Let's see that. Oh, and then one time, the, oh, one of the stories I read, this dude said how um, they went to someone's house and they had like a throne, so they took off all their clothes, they only had their underwear on, yeah. and they sat their character down <laughs> on the throne and then went AFK and tabbed out of Final Fantasy. So their character was just stuck there, and the owner came home and was like, what the fuck, and started messaging that person's free company, like, can you tell this person to get out of my house? <laughs> That's hilarious. I know, it's like, oh my god. And then some people are saying how they walked in on people doing ERP, and I was like, oh god. Oh. That's gotta be awkward. What do you do? Yeah, that would be, that just, would be bad. Just leave. I would not like that. Just walk <laughs> out. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I don't go into people's houses. <laughs> Just in case they're having virtual cyber sex. Uh-huh. <laughs> I remember, uh... That would happen all the time on Gaia. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You'd, like, go into a random house and there'd be two, like... People just having some cyber sex. Awkwardly. I saw someone who was doing that in Limsa, like, in public, and I was like, what the fuck are you hey. doing, dude? Why would you do that? Yeah, they were probably reported, but I was just like, uh... Why yeah, you apparently that? that was, like, a super common thing with World of Warcraft. It's so weird, and then some people, like, pay money for that. Like, some people have an in-job profession of doing oh ERP gosh. in Final Fantasy, and I'm just like, what? Crazy. Alright, do you mind if I go pee real quick? No. Okay, I will. Oh shit, hold on. Okay, oh. I'm gonna go oh. grab a drink. Okay. 
I'm back. Okay, welcome back. Thank you. I could, I could hear the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, I was I'm like, oh, I was like, I wonder if Brittany can hear us, and Scott's like, Brittany's laughing. I'm like, oh, okay. It's like, I don't know what she threatened to pee on, but it could be anything, including the Pepsi or water, as you insisted. I just pee on whatever I feel like, and then that's how I know it's mine. Scott, is your mic on? No. Oh, I could have sworn I heard a, heard a echo. I thought I'd say it really loud just to see if I could hear it. Scott! <laughs> I'm back, by the way. Welcome back. What's oh, new? Yeah. Mavis Beacon. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, you guys. Yes. I wish that you played scary survival games, because Green Hell is so much fun, but it's so fucking hard. Miss that. It's um, it's kind of like the forest, except it takes place in the jungle, and it's a lot harder. Oh god. I've been playing it with Josh, and it's pretty funny. I keep getting lost and fucking things up, and he's just like, Kiki, just stop, don't touch anything. So you can play with other people? Yeah. Like how many people? Uh, I think the maximum is four. Oh, that'd be fun. I'd be down to play. You should get... Uh, Green Hell, The Forest, and Seven Days to Die. Those are my three favorite of the survival games. That each one's different. Mm. So whatever you feel so, like that day. So I have already bought The Forest. I haven't played it yet, but I have it. Ooh. We should play it together. It's, sure. It's, it's so much fun. It's terrifying, but it's fun. As well... <laughs> Well, if you're with your friends, it's not as scary, because you're like, okay, if I get murdered, I know someone's got my back. Yeah. I think I'd like that, as opposed to just playing a survival horror game by myself. Yeah. yeah. It's just really hard, because you have to keep, well, especially in those games, you have to keep looking over your shoulder like, oh god, are they here? Uh oh, oh shit, there they are, and they got run and hide, and you're like, fuck, I can't get anything done. That sounds scary. Yeah, it was really fucking annoying when I was playing. Like, I was trying to, like, build something, and the, the cannibals kept coming up to me, and so I would swim out in the ocean to this yacht, and then I would wait until they left to go back and start working on stuff again, and I was like, this is so stressful. I don't need this right now. Wait, cannibals? Yep, in the forest they got cannibals and mutants. Oh. Yeah, mutant cannibals. Lovely. It's it's so good. And then the second game's coming out this year in October, hopefully. So yeah, we should we should all play those because it's they're just so much fun, especially with yeah. friends. Oh man. Oh, and then with a lot of them too, you can customize how you play, so you can make it to where, fuck. Hmm? 
You can make it to where only certain types of enemies come or you don't have to be hungry oh. or like stuff like that. So you can customize most of them for the most part. Okay. Yeah, Oops. so it's not ridiculously hard. Yeah, so like when I was playing with Josh, I have the enemies on low difficulty and I don't have it to where we can get like sick or stuff from snakes or like whatever. Because I was like, I was like, okay, we're, we're just learning this game and I want to actually enjoy it. Yeah, build up to Maybe. being harder. Yeah, like whenever I play those Le games, I play game on... first. Huh? Learn the game first. Yeah, like whenever I play those games, I play on peaceful difficulty with no enemies whatsoever so I can get used to the mechanics. But Josh is like, no, let's play on normal difficulty. So I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll play on normal. And I secretly changed... The difficulty settings without telling him. Nice. <laughs> but he was bitching about it being too hard, and I'm like, aren't you glad we didn't play on normal? Yep. Like, surprise, bitch! I, like, earlier today, he was like, this game is ridiculously hard. Like, it, like, it's frustrating. I was like, you're the one that wanted to play on normal. He's <laughs> like, well, yeah, I do, but... I'm like, it's not the game's fault. You just gotta get good. Get good, bro. So I always start any game out on the easy modes just to like learn Enjoy everything. It. Yeah. And then my second playthrough, like if it's good enough to play through again, then yeah, I'll up the difficulty. Yeah, that's what I do because I'm like because I used to do the thing where I'd only play on hard difficulty because I wanted to like prove that I was a gamer, gamer girl, TM copyrighted. And then I and then I would stop playing them, and I got mad, and I was like, you know, maybe I shouldn't be playing these on hard difficulty right off the bat, because there's Have that taboo guys... about easy being for casuals. And I'm like, fuck you, I want to like the game. Yeah. Have you guys played Elden Ring at all? No, I saw it's no. like Dark Souls and Bloodborne, and I was like, nope, I suck at those games. So I started playing it a little while back, and actually really like it and it's not really like as hard as people complain about because like it's open world so you can essentially just like pick and choose what you want to fight what bosses you want to you know try mm -hmm. to kill and if if you can't do something you can just like leave you're like nah i'm out mm, maybe i'll okay. try it yeah because i like... saw it was like dark souls and i'm terrible at that yeah, like, those games are definitely hard, but <clears throat> it's nice that this game you can just, like, wander and basically say, eh, I'm gonna do this later when I'm stronger. It's like, yeah, I don't feel I don't like doing to this. this. But, like, a lot of the, you know, Dark Souls, like, original players kind of complained about how people were playing, because they were like, oh, you're not playing it the way it's supposed to be played. Oh it's my like, god, I hate this people. Yeah, it's like, I'm gonna enjoy it. It's like, I, I, I want to like the game, thank you. Yeah, and like, you can play it however you want to play it. Or like, like, if they have a setting where you can turn off enemies and just have the gameplay, and people are like, oh, what's the plan? Like, so you can still play it. So you can have fun. So you can, because like, Nier Automata has an automatic battle system or whatever, where it fights automatically, and people are all mad about that. And it's like, well, people want to enjoy the story. Like, Kylia wanted to enjoy the story, and she's terrible at playing games, so she was all happy about it. But yeah. then people are bitching about it. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Oh my god, who cares? Yeah, it's like, I'm not good at games, but I love them. Yeah, just play it how you want it. Yeah. That why I love it is being able to just enjoy and not making it super hard and frustrating. Be like, yeah, I really like that game, but I had to put it down because I'm terrible at it. Like me with, with Dark Souls and Bloodborne, I really wanted to like them. Yeah, yeah, like I really liked Bloodborne, but it was really hard. And I, I was couldn't like, get ah. past the first part, like the first part in the town. I could never get past, and I was like. Same, so I just gave up on it. It's like, I re like it looks really cool, the story looks really cool, I want to like it, but you, I can't should, play it. Yeah, you should definitely try Elden Ring then, because, like, I had the same mindset, and then I played it, and I was like, oh, like, I don't have to suffer all the time. <laughs> all like, yeah, some of the time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not constantly. I can just run around on my horse and, like, oh, pick man. up random herbs and have a good time, so. I'll have to try it then. It's fun. Yeah. I like it. 
I got Eric really into it too, and he was kind of like the same way at first. Like he was like, "Oh, it's too hard," <laughs> and then the more you play it, the more you're like, "Oh, not too bad," because then you just like level up and get stronger and go back to the areas that were hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, the wraith! <laughs> oh God. Fuck the wraith. The gargoyles. No, fuck you. Go away. Leave me alone. Oh. Oh. What happened? Goddamn. Oh, Jesus. Behind us. Ah. Oh. Ah. We're trapped. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Boop. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. What the fuck just happened? They're frogs. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were frogs at first. I was like, wait, what's going on? Nope, and that's why I keep up the Polanders of Witching. <laughs> mm. I keep those around just for when those lure traps happen. Mm. Die, bitch. Yeah, look at us. Got oh my god! Again? What the fuck? Freaking rude. Come here, bitches. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man, this floor is just fucking us up. Okay, no accursed horde. I had to go back and read the messages. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? We only getting at a cursed horde with all this shit going on? That's bullshit. Need compensation. I want to talk to the manager. Don't care now, on us, Kiki. Oh god, I was watching a video of this girl who- she was talking to the, one of those scammers and she was pretending to be a Karen. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> she was like- she was like, no, no, I want to talk to the manager. And they, like, they didn't know what to do. They were just like, uh, okay, okay ma'am. And, like, you could tell they were getting really pissed off. Okay. And then there- and then she was, like, pretending to be an old lady who didn't understand what they were saying. Yeah. There's a guy I watch who does that. Is it Kit Boga? Maybe. I don't know his name. Does he but... wear sunglasses? Yeah. Yeah, it's Kit Boga. It's funny. <laughs> I like watching IRL Rosie when she does her old lady thing because she's just like, I'm sorry, what? And the <laughs> scammers are just like, like there's been a couple times where they're just like, you know what, ma'am, just have a nice day. They're like, it's not worth it. Yeah. Just Dude, nope. sometimes they get so mad. Fuck you! Like that scammer that, like, I pissed her off and she said fuck you to me and then she still yeah. wanted to try to scam me and I was like, no, bitch, you said fuck you to me. I'm not doing <laughs> shit with you. It's hilarious. She keeps emailing me as different people using the same name and I'm just Damn. like, I'm like, are you <laughs> stupid? I mean, I mean, yeah, she's stupid, but I'm like, dude, seriously? Like, Super she thinks I'm gonna forget about it. She's like, yeah. oh, maybe that person doesn't remember. It's the same fucking name. That's really funny. It's like, if she constantly does it, then you're not gonna forget about her anytime soon. She's like, oh, uh, I, I have this embassy sweepstakes. Oh, but actually, my father was a millionaire. Oh, but actually, I'm from the IRS. It's like... Mm -hmm. That one, the UPS scammers, I keep giving them the runaround, pretending to be, like, a different person, and then changing the address on them, and as of tomorrow, I will have been stringing them along for three weeks. God damn. Yep. It's funny, because they'll, like, I'll forget to go on and check the email for a few days, meanwhile, they'll send me all these emails, what's going on? Are, are you still going to send the money? And I'm like, oh yeah, sorry. Where did Scott go? He died. 
He's checking oh, okay. the treasure chests that are full. <clears throat> I think I got a scam text a couple weeks ago, but I'm not 100% sure. Because I didn't respond. Yeah, it's but usually for the best. Someone texted me from a number that I do not recognize whatsoever that just says, Hey, long time no see. And I was like, What? Hmm. I feel like this is a scam, but I don't know. So I just played it safe, didn't respond. I, I usually yeah. if I have someone contact me that I haven't talked to a long time ago, they'll be like, Oh, is this Kiki? This is exactly. so and so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, like if I'm else. if I contact someone that I haven't talked to in a while, I'll be like, "Hey, is this person?" And then if they reply, yeah. Or not. But yeah, or no. Like, hey, hey, what's up? Long time no see. You're like, has it been though? Oh fuck. Yeah, it was just kind of like <laughs> suspicious. I don't know. Thing like that. Oh god. Fuck, fuck you, stop. bitch. Where are you guys over there? Oh shit. Uh yeah. If you guys get any scam emails about dating, though, like if you like mm -hmm. if you have someone send you a fake dating thing where it's like, "Hi, my name is blah blah blah. I'm looking for a date," and give me their email because I I want to scam or scam bait them. Okay. That's gonna okay. be my next thing is to pretend to start a romance with these people and see what trophies I can get. You should uh, pretend to be a sugar daddy. Oh my god, I should. <laughs> So I get a lot of, like, porn messages. Oh um, my god, dude. I do too. Hold on, let me text you one I got earlier. It was so <laughs> fucking... S like, oh my god. Oh, hold on, let me fight this guy first. Or, you know what? Actually, I'm just gonna read it out loud. Hopefully YouTube doesn't, uh, ban me for this. I think the most that they do is demonetize, and I don't think that you're monetized yet. Nope. Okay, so it's, so the email I got says, This guy performed an African elongation ritual and got ridiculous results. Him and his hot wife went to Kenya a couple years ago, only to discover that native plants gave every local humongous penises. The what? Maasai trap... The Maasai tribe, renowned in the scientific community for their unique 16 inches dongs and their well-protected elongation method, gave the student extra three inches in the first few weeks after. No wonder porn stars are being put to shame. Impressed by the results, he became friends with a few of the elders of the tribe and managed to learn their secrets while performing the ritual a couple extra times. And with the same incredible results, he stopped at 9.2 inch inches. Bruh. I was Jesus like, Christ. I was like, what the fuck is this? Wow. Wait, yeah, you got that that's in an so email? Or... Yeah, oh, it was, it was email. Awesome. Oh my god. Yeah, I was looking through my my spam folder to see if there's anyone I can like email from my other account, and I saw that. I was like, wow, I sure am glad I checked before I deleted everything. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. They're worldwide renowned for their 16 inch dongs. Um <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit much. <laughs> well, you don't you don't want it coming out of your mouth? Mm. That, that doesn't sound pleasant to you. Mm. <laughs> like you're throwing up porn stars to shame. Like you're throwing up the dick. Right. Oh man. That sounds painful. <laughs> And then, yeah, I got, like, a few different variations of the same story, and I was like, what the fuck is this? That's so weird. Puts the porn stars to shame. They, they're, they're, they're well known. <laughs> he stopped at 9.2 inches because he didn't want to hurt his wife, obviously. Right. Didn't want to go too far. <laughs> Once you get into the double digits, man. He can't go back. <laughs> God, but imagine how many people fall for that, though. Dude, I don't want to know. That's sad. Dude, you should see what the reactions of some people when I, like, recite some of my really random knowledge, like, when it comes to, like, 
making porn and stuff like that from all the like documentaries that I listen to and then like sometimes I'll listen to uh, sex podcasts like Sluts and Scholars. What the That's fuck? a good one. <laughs> But like, <laughs> but, like, my people that I know just give me the weirdest looks when I'm like, actually, fluffers aren't really used unless if they're doing a gangbang. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what's a fluffer? So that is someone that, like, kind of starts Scott's having laughing. Do you hear him laughing? No. I don't. It's like someone that kind of like keeps the guys hard in between like the shot. Okay, I got you. Okay. Kelsey's like, hey, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess it's also for like other like performances to kind of loosen up the performer like comedians and stuff. Interesting. They have like a fucking yeah. clown in there to make them laugh. No. He makes a balloon not, dick. Not the clown. Balloon dick clown? Yep. No? Why not? Well, I mean, if, if you're a lunar, then yeah. What the f- did you guys hear that? Yeah, the zombie. That was creepy. That's oh creepy. yeah, another funny thing about Green Hell is you can hear the natives before you see them. So like yesterday, Josh was like, cutting a tree. He's like, Kiki, is that you singing? I was like, no. He's like, I hear someone singing. So I ran over and I hear it. And with my headphones, like the direction you look in, it lets you know, like, like if you're looking at them, you can hear them clearly. If you're looking away from them, you can't hear them. So I saw them and they're just like chilling over there. I was like, oh my God, dude. <laughs> That's spooky. He's like, Kiki, are you singing? I'm like, no. <laughs> They also have, um, they, they have the, 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 the wooden penis covers that make it look like they have an erection. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he was like, they have a very big dick. I was like, oh no, actually. <laughs> like a cod piece. Yes, that. <laughs> For some reason, they need that out in the jungle. I was like, okay. Modesty. I do not like that sound. Yeah, that's a little spooky. Well, you know what? We're almost done here. Ooh. We're on 48. Oh, I thought it was 46 because I was sitting away from the screen. Awesome. I don't like that. <laughs> Stop. Shut up. Fucking whatever the fuck you are. I don't like that. Oh. Wait. The a silver. Man, thank god we have four people. Oh shit. Yay, my armor increased. Nice. I do not like that sound. Yeah, and I have a feeling that next up is the T-Rexes. Like, in the next set of floors. So it's not going to get any better for you. We got the intuition, Pomander. I keep hey! Oh, shit. Oh, cool. Yeah, I stayed out of the out of the teleportation thing just in case. <laughs> God, imagine like we see it come up as we're teleporting out. It'd be terrible. Oh, no, it's stuck. I was like, you know, what? I'm going to stand out here just in case. See here, what gets rid of glue? Not that one. This one. Ooh, nice. And 
damn it. Lame. Fuck you, bitch. So many of them. God. Oh. All of us were over there like, where'd the enemies go? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like fighting off three of them. You're just like, yeah, don't worry about me, guys. I'm fine. This is fine. <laughs> Stop making that sound. I don't like that. Bitch. Yeah. Fortune now smiles upon you, possibly. <laughs> so that means that enemies have a slightly higher chance of dropping chests when they oh. die. Because mm. I used a pomander. Mm. Uh, is that... Oh, silver. Oh. Where's the silver? There's the silver. Looks like an enemy drop. Hey, my, my armor went up to 50. Cool. Yeah, my arm is now 70 and my armor is 56. Nice. My arm is 55, armor is 50. Okay, so you're pretty balanced there. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, Jesus, Nightmare Dragon. Um, plus my stuff is also higher because I do solo. Like, a little bit. You did solo. <laughs> I did. No longer because of our save files. Yep. Shit, which- is it this way? Uh... <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, oh, there's an old friend. Behind the dragon. Get your fat ass out of the way, bro. Commander of Sight. There's my fat Quincy. He's so fat. God, yesterday he was pissing me off. He wanted to go in the bedroom to sleep with Scott. And Scott has the door closed so I don't wake him up and the cats don't. And Quincy wanted in. And then when he didn't get in, he looks at me and goes over to the bookcase. And as he's looking at me, he knocks down one of Scott's figures. And I was like, really? <laughs> I was like, you're an asshole. <laughs> Just direct eye contact as he does it. He's like, I want you to know that I'm doing this because of you. Wow. Yeah, Nick does that all the time. Ah. Whoa. Scott turned wow. into a to a thing. <laughs> I'm scared. Yikes. Too spooky five me. Remember that time we, we fought the boss is all sucky by and it was a really bad idea? Yes. Oh shit, I have to go near her? Oh fuck. <laughs> god damn it. I was like, oh my god, where do I run? Wait, why is everyone over there? Oh, because it's safe. <laughs> That's the one safe spot. God. Bullshit. I'm running away. Oh, we're all running away, except for Kelsey. Ah! Ah! No! No, 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 no! Oh, thank god. Oh. Oh, look away. Ah, oh, fuck me. Don't run, don't- okay, thank you. Don't run in the circle, just keep going that way. 
Okay. Barely made it. So close. Fuck. Ah! Oh. Almost there, almost there. Yes! yes. Yeah. Woohoo! Fuck you. Hey, Scott got an achievement. Nice. What was it? Uh, in too deep five. Oh, probably because you got to the 50th floor. Ah. <laughs> Alright, do you guys want to stop with Palace of the Dead and we can go to the Golden Saucer or something? Yeah, it sounds good. For 20 minutes. Oh wait, we have, to, stop. we have to turn in our horde and see if we got anything good. Probably not, but... Scott won't let me put my foot on him, how rude. What? I know, how can you believe you? that? He All doesn't right. have a foot fetish? <sighs> nope. Damn. I know. Alright, let's see if we get anything good. Materia? Ooh, I got a sparkler. I don't want it. Wow. Oh, I got a minion, I think. Ooh, what'd you get? Materia. A nutkin? Oh, that's a little squirrel thing. Yeah, it's cute. Awesome. One. Uh, oh, more fucking sparkle shit. Uh, oh, I got a tight-beaked parrot minion. Aww. Looks like a flamingo mixed with a toucan. <laughs> uh, Thavnarian headdress. Okay. Ooh, looks fancy. Oh. I don't think I can wear it, though, because I'm a Viera. Oh, that's true. Magic prism. Oh, it's part of your dancer outfit. Yeah, I'll ha I'll put it on and see if it like shows up at all. Okay, let's try putting it I on. I got the bikini bottoms. Ooh. Ooh. The the moon fair ones. So they're white with like a little blue tie. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the the headdress doesn't show up for me. Oh, oh, Jesus no. Christ. <laughs> Do you want it, Brittany? Yes, please. Alright. Like, one of us can make use of it. Where are you? <laughs> uh... I want to see your minion. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me get him out. Here's my nutkin. Oh, my God. I cannot, like, see. There's too many people. There's your <laughs> nutkin. Oh, he's so cute. Look at that little guy. Oh, he roll. <laughs> okay, let me get my toucan thing out. Oh, apparently I already have him. Oh. Do either of you want him? He looks like a, a pink toucan. Elsie can take him. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm more getting the headdress from her. Let's see. Trade. And plus, I already have so many minions, I might already have it. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to get as many minions as I can, just so I can, like, be like, okay, I know I have this. Uh, where the fuck is head? Oh, wait. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. There he is. There he is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. I want the sparkler! I'm going to go into first person so I can see how it looks on your character. Are you wearing it? I am. I it's a little ribbon. Oh, it's it, cute. Yeah, I can see it on the sides of your horns. Or ears, sorry. <laughs> Sucky, succubus horns. Looks cute. Yeah, I like it. Uh -huh. Man, why can't my care That's racist. <laughs> I can't wear hats. I can wear some hats, but it's like very. It's a very, very small amount. It's racist. Yeah, that's some bullshit. I know. I'm like, what the fuck? I just want to wear stuff. Is that so much to ask for? 
What hat did I have on? I want to see your oh, bikini. Um, da 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 da. Oh, and you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Strip. Take your clothes off. <laughs> Show us your underwear. Uh, da, 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 da. there. Sexy. Wow. Oh, it has a little bow on the back. Yeah. yeah. On the sides on the and side. the back. It's cute. It's right above her tail. Huh? Did you get anything good, Scott? He said no. Damn. I'm like trying on all the head stuff I have. Oh, I can wear this fucking mask. Creepy. What mask? I don't see a mask. Hold on. Wait, why is it? Oh, it's because I have a glamour on. Damn it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it shows up for... It shows up, like, on the try-on, but since I'm wearing a glamour, it won't show up on my character. Okay, that's fine. Nah, whatever. Alright, to the gold saucer that I keep calling the golden saucer. It makes Josh angry every time I do. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that means that you're saucer. never going to stop. Was that Scott? That's why he got one of those. It's for girls only. Oh, he got the Moonfire halter top. Ooh. Oh, nice. So it wear. might be the piece that goes with... If it's for females, it probably goes with my bikini bottoms. Yep, I have it on... Uh, I have one of them for a Judith cosplay I'm going to do with my character. Scott. Oh, nice. Are you going to sell it? Or do one of you want it? Uh, I, I would like it to match my bottoms. How much does he want for it? How much do you want for it? He said you can just have it. Oh, thank you. He's over by the house right now. I will pop on over real quick. Yeah, when I was, I wanted to do a Judith cosplay, and I saw that, and I was like, oh my god, it's perfect. It's super cute. Just like Quincy's butt. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, one of my favorite cosplayers does a couple of Final Fantasy XIV cosplays. Oh man. Hey, I got I got ten thousand G M G P from the mini cocked pot co cocked pot man. Jesus, I can't fucking talk. I'm jealous. There is the other day I went on and I won it twice in a row and I was like, oh my god, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Ah, I got fifty four. God damn it. That's better than a punch to the face. I guess. Ooh, Leap of Faith is going to start. Or is it already ongoing? I hate this one so much. I know. Oh. Oh, we can't be in the party to do it. Okay, I'm going to have to dissolve the party, guys. Are you going to get off? Okay, Scott said so he's going to get off. Did you already give her the item? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna disband the party and I'm gonna do go do this mini game that I hate. <laughs> Scott's gonna yeah. go lay down and cry. Oh, is that his bedtime? Yep. Damn. Betty bye time. <laughs> Alright, let's see how terrible I do at this. God. I had Emil try this and he got very angry. <laughs> <laughs> I got I very angry the first time. It. Yeah. God, I remember the first time me and Brittany did it, we were just like, what is this game? This is terrible. It really is terrible. It's like, most of it has to do with the fact that there's like so many people jumping, you can't yeah. see where you're going. Yeah. It's so annoying. <laughs> can't even fucking get up there. No! Sorry. I don't like this the worst. 
No, eh. eh. oh Jesus, that was close. God. Okay, let's fucking do this. Are you gonna do the leap of faith? Yep. Are you gonna do the leap of excuse me, Faith Kelsey? I forget how to get there. Uh <laughs> go talk to one of the gatekeepers standing they're in pretty much every plaza. They have a little like exclamation mark above their head. They're called a gatekeeper and you just talk to them, they teleport you to where you need to go and then you talk to the little cactus man. Okay. It's also in the green area and you can also just follow the uh, blue arrow on your map. Okay. Oh no, I fell! Hi, Busolo09. Oh, wait, Brittany, is that you? Oh no, it's Norma, someone else. Oh fuck me, I just fell again. Bye. Scott says bye. 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 They said bye. Okay, now let's talk shit about him. <laughs> <laughs> he flipped me off. <laughs> <laughs> but we do that in front of his face. Why? Why? Why do you have numbers in your name if you don't want me to say them? I don't like this. What? Wait. Huh. Where oh. where do I go? I know, I'm like, wait a minute, why are all these people running past me? No! Damn it. Rest in peace. I didn't fall all the way down, thank god, but still. Probably oh. will now. God. So stressful. Oh, okay. So I won't say the 09 from now on. I'll just say Busulu. Busul- whatever. Maybe I'll just call you 09. Oh my god, this bitch just ran to the platform I was gonna land on to grab the trophy and almost threw me off. Send her hate mail. <sighs> okay, I'm- can- can you please move? Jesus Christ. Okay, go! Why- she's looking at me! Why is she looking at me? Jesus. Oh, fu oh that was close. I don't like this. Oh, I see you down there, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> down there, huh? Down there. I'm above you. Oh, God. This is so stressful. I also think that it's kind of funny when people just sit down and give up. I've done that, or I'll do the thing where I just keep running off the cliff because I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> so stressful. I don't like this. Oh fuck, I fell. Okay, oh. I uh, uh, fell all the way. Oh, I just jumped after you, but I landed on the island. Okay, so you want a teddy bear from the arcade? Not something cool? God damn it, I fell again. Why did I think this was gonna be a good idea? Why did I do this? Why? God because damn it. It's just like this in this game I play, you, you like do crafting for an event, and every time I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do the crafting, it won't be that bad, and then every time I'm like, why did I do this? I hate my life. <laughs> I fell again. Five minutes remaining. I'll probably be able to find something good. Oh my god, where do I go? D oh, down there. Oh my god, I'm stuck. <laughs> no. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, Brittany, when do you want to take a meal to that arcade? Uh, on one of my days off. Yeah. He's all excited about it, especially the Miku game. 
Dude, I'm also excited about it because I love that place. <laughs> oh, I made it! No fucking way! I made it! What do I do now? Do I just stand here? Do I... Did I win? I didn't get all the trophies. Does that matter? Um, like, you can also, like, go back and get the trophies, I think. Because I don't know if I want to go back and get the trophies, because I might fall. No, fuck it, I'm just gonna leave now. I made it, I made it to the goal. I usually don't do that, so I'm just gonna go through the gate. I don't give a fuck. Okay. 3,200. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you can, uh... Still collect all the trophies without damaging, like, the fact that you completed it. Because I I remember doing that too, is just get to the goal and then you can get the trophies along the way. I was just like, do I want to hate my life? Yes, you do. I haven't heard Kelsey say anything in a while. Are you playing Leap of Faith? I wasn't. I was just getting distracted by everything else. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna go play that mining game. Or the wood... No, the, the wood chopping game, that one. I like that. I hate the mining one up by the Chocobo and Minion Square. That's a yeah, good I'm one for getting MP points. Uh, I like doing the the wood chopping one. It's like kind of easy-ish. It's pretty forgiving. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, and it has like a really high output. Yeah. Where's Whoa. that? Uh, go to Chocobo Minion or uh Chocobo. Minion Square or Chocobo Square, and it's gonna be in the middle. You'll you'll see oh, my okay. character playing at one of the machines. I like it. It's easy compared to others. And like I said, it also has a good output too. Yeah. So I feel and like there's... some of them are just not worth it. Yeah. And... And if you send your squadrons on, uh, like, higher level missions, then you can get, uh, these scrolls that give you, like, a higher percentage of MGP when you play. Oh shit, speaking of that, I think I have some company actions we should have been using. Whoops. Okay, let me see if I have them. Uh, let's see. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, here we go. Increases MGP payout by 10%. Whatever. Better late than never. Yeah. Oh, and you can also, like, get an increase. At least with the scrolls when you do the fashion report, too. Mm. I Which... always forget to do the fashion report, honestly. Yeah, but it also gives you an extra, like, thousand MP MGP. Yeah, I think, like, my thing is I didn't know, like, what to wear or whatever, so I just said, okay, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> so I just go in with my regular clothes. And just get the base, like, 10,000. Oh, okay. Where is I he do again? That too. Uh, he he's in the yellow section. Okay. But he's open on weekends. Oh, okay. Man, I should have been doing that. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I know now. Better late than never. Yeah, just going in with just your regular clothes is like 10,000. Man. All this time I could have been raking it in. I got 440 instead of 400. Look at me. Oh yeah. Man, this innovative gameplay. Truly wonderful. 
no other game could compare Final Fantasy. I wonder if the reason we're really into this MMORPG is because it's Final Fantasy. Because I've never really been into like MMORPGs. So I'm into this one because I can play with you and be on the uh, PlayStation. Oh, that's true. Like, I don't do on the computer. Mm. Yeah. I think what I like about it is that there's so many things to do in it. Yeah, like, you can, like, you can just chill at home, you can do this. <laughs> yeah, it's just, like, so diverse. And the characters are pretty. Mm-hmm. Because remember we played Mabby Nogi like a million years ago? <laughs> yeah. And then we got bored pretty quickly. I kept getting fat, like, <laughs> every time <laughs> I'd eat bread. <laughs> You're like, I don't I want this. I really wanted to play that one, but none of my computers could ever handle it. Oh, yeah, we played it for like a week and then we just never touched it again. Yeah. <laughs> It was also, like, kind of, like, barren compared to this game. Like, there was, oh, like, yeah. nothing around. Yeah, there wasn't much to do. It's probably completely different now, but we got this and game. And you know what? With this game, it doesn't matter what job you start as. You can do whatever job you want. Yeah, That's you, true. you don't have to just pick one and then make a new character. And that also goes for crafting jobs, too. Mm-hmm. I was so confused at first when I was, like, trying to figure out how to do all the other jobs. I'm like, how do I do this? What do I do? And I'm like, oh, just equip that thing and you can do it. Just like real life. Yep. You want to become a chef? Just grab a kitchen knife and start chopping stuff up. I mean, pretty much. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, fuck. I ran out of time. Damn it. I, see, oh, I hate when that happens. I see both of you at this one, so I'm gonna come over here too. Okay. Oh shit, I just realized it's 702. Oh, it is. <laughs> we gotta get off because we have a date with Mint. Yeah. Okay. Shit, fucking hell. God damn it. Okay, let me close this.